Hello everybody. I just wanted to give you an update on our Ruth Stout garden. Um, all of this behind me <laughs> is from four watermelon plants. That's it. I only planted four. And we have a ton growing. It's actually taking up a quarter of our, I think it's 40 by 60 garden. So that's awesome. As you can see, we have some mini watermelons growing and tons of flowers all throughout here where we'll, we will be getting more. Like, this is crazy. There are so many growing throughout here. Let me see if I can find some. Oh, here's a good one. Oh yeah, look at that baby. Ooh, and it's gonna be nice and tasty. It's not quite ready yet, but it's a really good size. Got a, another one growing down here. Just seriously, tons and tons of growth and tons <laughs> of watermelons popping up, little baby ones and flowers for more to grow. And when we did a normal soil garden, we planted we planted more than just four, but we never had this kind of growth. So this is just amazing to me. This is our first year with the Ruth Stout gardening method. And I mean, just look at that. It's so exciting. We also have a pumpkin plant started here and then one over here as well, which is exciting. And the watermelon starting to creep over into the pumpkin section because I honestly did not expect that many, well, that much growth out of just four watermelon plants. So good grief. And here's our one green bean plant that took off. And I was transparent in one of our previous videos my husband had ordered a survival pack of heirloom seeds off of Amazon and hardly anything grew from those seeds. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's a lesson learned and we won't be ordering through them again, but we did get one green bean plant to pop up and it's starting to grow a few little green beans anyways. And we did have a couple of corn plants pop up, but not many, unfortunately. And then here we have some winter squash. And then we also have a squash plant over here. You can see it's starting to get the flowers on it. And then we have another one over here. So those are doing well. And then here I have three peanut plants. And I'll look forward to harvesting these around fall time when the leaves start turning yellow. And it's my first time growing peanuts, so that'll be really exciting. I'm looking forward to that, but they are doing really well. Let me pull this little weed out of here. And then along the back of the fence, we have a ton of asparagus growing. I do need to get in here and do some weeding, but as you can see, especially through the watermelon area, the weeding hasn't been bad at all. I haven't been out here every single day to do weeding like I have in previous gardens that are just regular soil. Um, we actually don't have a whole lot of weeds. It's mainly just grass that pops up in here. So it's quick and easy for me to just go through here and pull them out. It's, I mean, it's not bad at all and it's nothing that's overtaking my plants like a normal garden. And then I also have some strawberry plants planted throughout here and they're doing pretty well too. We're starting to get a couple little strawberries, so that's exciting. And they're also starting to vine out, which is what I'm hoping for. I planted them right up with our asparagus because they actually partner up really well together. And I'm glad I came out here today because I would say our radishes are more than ready to be picked. They're huge. And look at 
with the Ruth Stout gardening method, I don't have to dig for them. Like, that was super easy. I didn't have to dig in the ground and dig them up. I'm just <laughs> seriously pulling back the hay and they're ready to go. I mean, how neat is that? Look, it's got a little baby. <laughs> hands here. I mean that one's kind of an ugly one but this is actually the perfect size because the smaller they are the sweeter they are and better tasting they are whereas these ones are ginormous. This one's way overdue and so it'll be a little more bitter but slice them up really thin toss some salt on them if you want eat them just like that or you know, I, I usually just cut them up and pop them in a salad. Oh yeah, look at that. Seriously, just moving the hay out of the way and boom. The perfect radish. I don't have to dig. That's easy. I just found another watermelon. Look at that baby. That one's much bigger than the other one not quite ready yet. We'll know that it's ready when the stem starts to turn brown. It's not quite there yet. Oh yeah, so exciting. Seriously though guys, if you are considering giving the Ruth Stout gardening method a try, I would say go for it. Um, even though we had some really crappy seeds, um, this has been awesome. I've never had my watermelons do this well ever. And that's with tons of fertilizing and constant weeding. And with the Ruth Stout method, there's virtually zero weeding. I've been out here once to do weeding. And like I said, for the most part, it's just it's just grass. That area back there is a walkway that we haven't mowed, but it's just grass that's popping up. I'm not constantly spending all day, every day out breaking my back, weeding, and there's no digging involved. I just planted everything directly in the hay and the radishes. You saw how easy they were to pull out. And carrots and potatoes, you can plant them using the roost out garden method as well. And again, no digging. You just move the hay out and boom, there you go. Um, and so if everything's doing this good this year, with it being our first year especially, and like I said, really crappy seeds, um, next year it'll be even better. And that's, the, that's what I've been hearing from every other person who's ever tried the Ruth Stout gardening method. You just layer hay throughout the years. Um, we'll add a new layer in here in the fall and that'll break down and start decomposing over the winter and it'll, it's, it'll provide its own natural fertilizer and nutrients right into the ground. And in the spring, I'll lay down more seeds. Um, if you watched my planting video, I seriously just sprinkled my seeds directly into the hay. So again, no digging, no bending over, breaking your back, spending hours in a garden. I just walked along and dropped my seeds directly in the hay. And I mean, come on now. <laughs> it's a no brainer. I am definitely looking forward to my garden next year if it's already doing this well. Like I said, we'll add a new a new layer to everything in the fall right over top of everything that's already in here after we've harvested. Um, just lay down some more hay, let it break down over the winter, toss my seeds down, maybe add some more hay in the spring. We'll kind of see. Um, I mean, easy peasy y'all. I'm definitely extremely satisfied with the Ruth Stout gardening method. I'm, I'm very pleased. So like I said, if this is something you've debated or have been researching, take my word for it. I'm super happy. 
All right, guys, you have a great evening.